Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're returning sub, welcome back. Love to have you here. And yeah, so I'm just a little bit of me personally. I am a twin flame on a twin flame journey. I brush shoulders with my beautiful beloved souls for decades before we came into physical embodiment for the first time. We came into each other, had pure, raw, vulnerable love, and then we sailed off into the sunset, so to speak, to do our, I want to continue our awakening process and the journey of healing. We are back together in physical harmony as of a couple of a few years ago. Um, and I'm merely just a messenger on this journey, um, meant to debunk some of the myths out there and just bring you to the truth of what this journey is all about and what is entailed on the journey. It's, it's very vulnerable. It's sometimes there's more questions than there are answers. And I just like to think of myself as a friend to you, a, a coach, a guide, just to help you navigate to the truth of this particular journey. I predominantly do masculine energy and I always have. I've always, um, I'm pen to paper kind of gal. I write everything down in a journal and the, every, all the, the, the energy resonates with what's in my journal, what is written. And it's, and I've, as I said, many, many times I've written three to four, maybe probably more, probably five, 5,000 pages of this journey. So I like to pass that wisdom along to you. But today is a good day. And it's been a good month, actually, in terms of um, the momentum of this particular Twin Flame Collective, and I'm so happy for you. So the message that I have, and again, this is masculine energy, realizing that it's just energy. So you could be um, predominantly masculine in a female anatomy or vice versa, but the, the whole um, journey of energy is to restore that harmonious balance of both masculine and feminine energy. So I know that there's some stuff that's out there that speaks otherwise. I speak to what I've been told. So that's that. But um, specifically today and for the month of October, I've been seeing this and feeling this and this, this very beautiful energy of offers coming through to the divine feminine. So whatever you are in this particular journey, what I normally, how I normally, um, when I resonated with, with my particular journey is usually the, the runner, the one that runs from this connection is generally masculine energy. Um, and that's just the dynamic of the journey. So, there's been so much going on with this masculine. I'm like, my heart is just like oozing with love right now. Um, because if the, the masculine um, hasn't been closing out those karmic cycles or those karmic contracts in their life, they are doing so. And there's su such beautiful, positive momentum forward on this journey for both of you. The masculine realizes that this is your love is infinite and it's no coincidence and that you are their divine counterpart. They've come to so much beautiful wisdom on, on this journey. And, and that's truly what this journey really does entail is you are a mirror soul of each other. And when you look into the mirror, you're not just seeing your physical self. Your inner, your ear, you know, sometimes your, your, your thoughts, emotions, understanding of yourself. Um, it's a reflection far greater than your physical body. And it, and, and the reason why this journey is very vulnerable at times is because it forces you to look at the most, your deepest insecurities, your deepest fears. It just, it brings you to a place of unfamiliar territory. But the masculine is just feeling liberated because this journey is both um, painful but beautiful at the same token because it 
it it's like a hidden gem so, so to speak it takes you um to a place within yourself to bring your true authentic you and peel away that um the layers of your ego removing the mask or the veil and when when you get there it's so so beautiful um there's all sorts of doors opening up for this masculine energy as a result of ending some of these karmic contracts and partnerships the door to personal healing and happiness this is a journey of healing and ultimately getting to that destination of self-love and happiness and just blissfulness and peace and harmony um i'm looking at right now that the masculine's third chakra is um opening realizing that you know these particular energy points in our body they can open and close um like i want i can say like daily so you can you can have that energy point cleared within your body and then it can it can get blocked or clogged or however you resonate and with the masculine right now the primary energy point with them in their um journey at this moment is the solar plexus and the reason why i love the solar plexus is because it when developed it it improves our personal power energy and effectiveness it's located just above the belly button it governs the pancreas the spleen the gallbladder and the nervous system it is a center for emotional sensitivities and as i said issues of personal power so sometimes we um in just in life in general um we uh, we can sometimes remain powerless and one thing about this masculine is they're standing in their absolute power right now they've been pushed around they've been knocked down um and personal power is something a little bit different this time with the masculine because they're relieving and releasing um this i want to say ego and some of the emotions that are attached with this ego is guilt and shame and denial and i feel like those are one of those and self well guilt and shame kind of resonate with the the unworthiness and the self-worth challenges but um divine feminine what you've done for your masculine and what the masculine you've done for your feminine you've done so many things it's as i said it's a very painful journey it's not a cinderella love story romeo and juliet love story it absolutely is not um i i know that this this twin flame concept is trending out in in the world in the universe whatever it may be it it comes with its set of i want to say i don't want to say consequences but yeah i am going to say consequences because it really forces you to look inwards and you you know it sometimes can be very very uncomfortable but it is ultimately liberating and i'm so happy for you thank you for the emails um for all of you that send me personal emails i know you're a lot you're very private um and sharing that you've had communication and contact just realize that it doesn't come in fast and furious it come in come in drips and drabs um because there's still that fear um that fear within because it does unravel your deepest fears and insecurities so when when you come back into each other there's sometimes there's that guarded or a wall or something there to protect yourself from these deep insecurities that are seated within that may resurface because sometimes you even though you think you're healed and you're in a good place sometimes the stuff can resurface over and over and over again don't beat yourself up it's a journey it's a lifelong journey while you have your blueprint here on earth just knowing that um our souls are infinite they are eternal 
and your love is eternal. It's from the dawn of time, believe it or not. It's a very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journey. If the masculine could say anything to you at this moment, what would it be? And you are my, my foundation. Our love keeps me grounded. Very, very nice message. But I am struggling to let go of my ego. As, as I said in many of my videos, you don't, don't, don't just wake up and hallelujah, you're free of ego. One thing about this journey is you remove the shackles of your ego. You understand your ego. You get to your true authentic self. But there can be setbacks when, and you can fall right back into egoic patterns. It's regrettably the life that we, or the world that we live in. It's a low vibration, but it's changing. It's evolving and it's beautiful. I love to see the high vibration of the world. It's, our world is changing as we, as we, um, as I speak at, uh, of this moment and it's taking us to great destinations. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better, but ultimately in the end, it is getting better. And I love the momentum of this beautiful connection because the foundation is built on unconditional love and forgiveness and non-judgments. You see, when you look in that mirror, that divine sacred mirror of your souls, there is no judgments. There is no fear. There, there is, you know, it's, it's, well, I guess there can be a little bit of fear, but there definitely is no judgments. And that's what I love about this particular journey, because it brings you to such a beautiful, beautiful place of just pure love, unconditional soul love. And I love it. Um, I'm ending karmic cycles that don't fulfill my soul. And that's what I was alluding to earlier, wrapping up, tying up loose ends, removing any interference that may be hindering in your journey or momentum forward. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And lastly, I regret that I hurt you. I wasn't ready to face myself, so I ran. Um, that when you come into each other, it's like, I want to say it, it, I always say this is something I wrote many, a few years ago, soul shock, volcanic soul eruption, earthquake, whatever, however you resonate. And it's, it, like I said, it's, it's liberating, but it's also very painful. And it inevitably one twin runs from the pain and when they look in that mirror, there is pain and suffering there. That at that moment in time, they're just not ready to face. But they have no choice. Because if this is truly your twin, that's what you do. You're, you know, one soul spit, split into two bodies, yearning and for each other, your entire being and life, which is eternity and you're yearning for that other part of your soul. Um, you're inseparable. This, this goes beyond any um, thing in the physical realm that many others just simply don't understand. But if this is your journey, you can totally resonate and relate. So that's what I have for you. Um, you know, this masculine is seeing beyond the, the veil of of themselves and that is so so beautiful um two more beautiful messages for your beautiful loving souls and that is love overcomes all obstacles a change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around trust in love's power it will transform you and the one you love all will soon clear and i love that message so very much and Try to look at things from a more feeling level. What is your heart saying? If you look at life purely through logic, you will always get to a point where it seems to make no sense. True wisdom and understanding reside in the heart. And that's a problem with many of us in this world. We always 
migrate back to the mind and you know the toxicity or rubbish or garbage of thought when we should be following the voice of our heart what is your heart saying to you you know um this is a destination of love and self-love ultimately self-love what is your heart saying you're worthy you are beautiful and you are absolutely loved um and don't let that venomous thought navigate your journey in life because it just steals from your peace and your harmony within you know and there are you know predators out there that are monopolizing you know and taking advantage of this journey this is a sacred journey it's a blessing and it's a gift how lucky are you beautiful 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 soul is if you're new um i strongly believe that signs and synchronicities come to us as divine messages sacred messages every single day they are not a coincidence they are there sometimes to remind us um, of what this journey entails and they're they're just beautiful messages most of all not to um give up on your faith and you know it, it, yeah it's they're, they're beautiful and i feel like you get them every single day too don't take them for granted the universe is communicating with you but today animal spirit for masculine energy is otter spirit and so cute um it's ironic how this these come about because i i just see i just saw an otter but it was somebody that had a pet otter and i saw a, a video and it was just absolutely adorably cute and and i love i love them and so the message behind this animal's message today is you're never alone and i love this message so much because you are never alone sometimes it's a very lonely journey and because there's so many questions um, and you're vulnerable but as i said before sometimes in our most vulnerable state the most incredible healing takes place within our soul so that's all i have for you beautiful beautiful souls today if any of this resonates kindly hit the subscribe for more videos like this like comment love to read your comments and as always consider a small donation of one to two dollars it truly goes back into the channel helps me with creating more music meditation videos and i'm happy to share with you that i've almost completed my mindful meditation teaching certificate so i can give you more um, tools to manifest love and pure blessings and miracles in your life have a super day folks